So since we're talking about the Nanlink app, I want to show you how easy it is to connect the lights to the app and then do all the settings that you want, create groups, create scenes, and many more. So let's begin. First of all, I'm gonna connect this one. So what I'm gonna do is basically, I'm gonna go in the menu and I have my phone in recording mode. So we're gonna create a new scene and we're gonna call it interview. Okay, great. So in this scene, I'm gonna tap to add more lights, but first of all, the lights need to be in pairing mode. So I'm gonna go into a uh, menu. I'm gonna go down into the Bluetooth. So where it says Bluetooth, I'm gonna press uh, reset. Now it's in Bluetooth mode. And what I gotta do is tap to add a new fixture via Bluetooth. And now I can see the light here. So I have connected to this light successfully in just a few seconds. And when the light shifts, it means that you're already getting connected. So now I have the possibility to control this light the way I want. So I'm gonna put it back and for example, I can dim it down I can increase its um, brightness output or I can change its white balance. So I can go very warm or I can make it very um, cold. So what I can also do inside the app is basically I can set my temperature to the temperature I want. So 5,300 and then let's say if um, there are a lot of light sources around and I don't know, like how my skin tone looks, I can change the tint of this light. So for example, I can make it a little bit more magenta or I can make it a little bit more green. So you have a lot of options on how you can control these lights in CCT mode. We can go even further in um, HSI or even pixel mode or other modes that I'm gonna show you. But first of all, let's connect the other lights as well and show you how easy it is to create groups and why groups are so effective. You have to set a different address for each light. For example, this was channel one. This has to be channel two because you cannot connect the same channels at the same time. So I renamed all the channels from the light as if channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. And now they are connecting and um, we should be ready to go. So as we can see, um, things start to look pretty good. It's taking a little bit of time until they are connected, but the good part is that you don't have to make this every time. So while once you connected the lights to the app, you will have them connected all the time. So you just power on the lights and they will automatically appear here in your app. So now that we have all of them connected, um, if we wanna modify a setting, we have to go on each and every one. So basically, if I wanna change uh, this slide, I have to go inside a menu and modify the setting and let's say, for example, you want to modify all the setting at once. So to do that, you have to create a group. So we're going to create a group and we're going to call it interview. All right. So in the group, I'm going to put all the lights. And this is the cool part about making a group. So for example, let's say you want to have an effect on all of the lights at the same time. So what do you do? You go into the group and um, inside the group, you can basically control all the lights at the same time. You, if you wanna modify the white balance, it modifies at the same time on all of the lights. So for example, if you wanna increase the um, brightness, it increases at the same time on all of the lights. And here is where the beauty comes. Let's say for example, you wanna create an effect, a pixel effect and you want all the lights to have the same effect um, over and over again. And for example, let's go and create a um, um, driving effect. So for this, maybe your 
having this in a car obviously this driving effect is a little bit different from the one that i use but if i want to create the one that i use often um, i can go inside uh, process and i can dim the background i can make the pixel go a little bit faster and now this is the type of uh, <laughs> driving mode that i usually use and it is really cool because um, you can change all the settings at the same time although this one didn't change i don't know why yeah okay now it's changed so uh, it is really cool to have um, the possibility to change all the lights at the same time with just one click and if you're using different type of um, let's say effects or anything like that it's really easy to manage them on all of the lights at the same time let's say for example um, i want to go into effect mode and i want to have um, the let's say police car so now all of them go at the same time it's really crazy how much control you have over the effect and over the way you interact with these lights and the thing is um, it's really nice because whenever you are on set let me go to normal mode again whenever you are on set you don't really want to lose time with uh, going to the light maybe one of the lights is on a on a stand that is very high up you you don't want to bring the stand down modify the settings put it up again and realize that the settings are not okay you just want to have control over your phone and modify everything um, the way you want if you either want to modify at the same time or if you want to modify uh, each of them uh, individually you have the possibility to do that and now i have uh, deleted the group and i have access to modifying the lights individually and one of the things that i noticed is that a lot of people buy these pava tubes for um, music videos and mostly to use them as practical lights most of the people use these pava tubes in the background or I don't know in shots that they are visible but the beauty of these lights is that you can also use them as key light or as an interview setup light and because the light that comes out of them is really soft you can use it really easy as a key light and um, I really love using these uh, in shoots where I need to work really fast and really efficient and because the power of them is really high like, let's say for example this one if I bump it up to the max, it has a ton of power. And this is what I really love about him. And I wanna show you a few things that I, I really find valuable about um, uh, these lights. And that is uh, the fact that you can save your presets. For example, I have a preset that is called driving mode. And I usually like to use that, but you cannot find that preset here. So I kind of have to modify it myself. And let's say, for example, you have to do the same with one of your effects that you keep on using. So I'm gonna go to pixel effect and I'm gonna go to process and I'm gonna make my effect really fast. So um, this is the driving effect that I usually use. And to save this, I go here and save as a preset and I will call it uh, driving Alex because this is my preset so new preset saved and let's say I want to use that preset again so I'm gonna go to um, presets and I have here my preset and I'm gonna press enter and um, it's gonna go really fast and another thing that I really love since these Pava tubes work on battery and have an amazing battery life it is really nice to have the possibility to put them on sleep once in a while so for example if you're uh, in a set if you're having a break and you're talking to the director or you're doing something and you don't want to consume power you just simply uh, put them on sleep and you don't have to go them power them off part them again and all that so it is really simple to work with this app as i said and there are a lot of 
other features that you can use. So let's say you go to a shoot and you get inspired by the color of uh, something that you see around there and you want to use that color to your lights. So what do you do? You basically go into the photo mode of the app. So go into the HSI, access the camera and take a photo of the color. So I'm going to take a photo and then it's press done and it automatically picks the color from this which is really awesome. But let's say you find a different product that you want to use um, in order to replicate the color on the lights. And I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to go again into photo mode and I'm going to choose it and I'm going to press done. And bam, just like that, we have the color that you see with your own eyes on an object, which is really amazing. This is really cool. I think this app unlocks so many possibilities. Let's say, for example, you want to save your lighting setup. You want to save all the settings that you have on the lights and come back to these settings later. So what do you do? So basically, I already did that to show you how easy it is, but I'm going to show you again. So you go into preset, you go into scene preset and you save your scene as a preset. For example, new scene, I type my scene as interview. And then you go back and you already have everything saved. And now you can go and create a new scene with all the settings that you want and you can apply them as I did right now and have a totally different lighting setup at one click away and this is already saved. So you can go back to the interview part and so on. Imagine you can do this and you can save multiple scenes and for example at a music video you can change everything in just one click and create all these different lighting situations where your audience is going to be emerged in and I think this is a very very cool thing that you can make uh, in the app that allows you to make so many different creative um, decisions uh, whenever you film with these lights in the future. So again, going on a super uh, neon vibe to a very interview setup. So this is absolutely amazing. I really love all the functionalities of this app and how easy it is to work with them.